it's Whimsy and we're back today with another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. I think we are going to have our first flying broom lesson, which I am super excited about. I'm really wondering how it's gonna work. So yeah, let's just jump into it, guys. Let's go. So last episode we actually destroyed everybody <laughs> now. Not that much, but we did really good with the gameplay. And we unlocked I don't know if that's the right word. We unlocked the talents which are amazing as you can see. Um like this. Absolutely incredible. And also my incendio... Wait, how do I play this game again? Okay. Incendio. My incendio is like this now. My Accio can Accio multiple people. Anyways, there's like a lot of... Uh, yeah, a lot of stuff that I can do now, which is really cool. I think I've done this spider then and they just reappear. I'm not sure though. But I mean, why not? Let's go. Whoa! Whoa! Wow, Z. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we're getting better. We we're getting there. I'm not the best still. Don't get me wrong. But we're definitely getting there. Like I I feel much more comfortable now than when I first started. And there we go. As easy as that. Okay, so I don't know what's up with like all the spider dens and stuff like that i guess it's more like to collect oh what are, what are those oh that's cute uh, maybe it's to collect ingredients or something like that ah oh, so cool or killed really Huh. Okay. Those are cool. Bevelio. Oh. Here. Ali Holtsi Fudge. Made with leaves of Ali Holtsi tree, this fudge is a little delightful confection that causes uncontrollable laughter. Okay, I didn't remember it was called like that. Interesting. I like that a lot. <laughs> Great. It was showing on my map too. I never noticed that before. The um <gasps> Is that a Merlin? Yes. Could okay, let's do this. A Merlin trial. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> Incendio. Huh. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Because this looks like a crystal, but Lumos, Reparo. I'm trying everything here. I don't know. Maybe I can do anything yet. Okay, it's just like a a wolf. I think. Let's do this. A dark 
mongrel, I'm sorry. Maybe I shouldn't use my special ability like that. <laughs> like, it's so stupid. So, what's up with this? That ain't... Rebellion. That ain't normal. Like, what? what is this? Lumos. Oh! Oh, 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 I see. I see. Okay, am I supposed to bring this here? Yes, I am. Oh! I was hearing the sounds like, what is going on here? Oh, that's so cute. I like that. It's so beautiful, too. Okay. So we're fine. No, 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 no. Come here. Merlin himself would be proud. <gasps> Beautiful. No matter what to say. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at my mixer for a sec. Everything is should be fine. I had some audio trouble just now. But I think I found out why finally. So, anyways. Wait, what do I do now? What did it show? Did I... I just... I did it or... Is that it? <laughs> I was not looking! I'm sorry! I think that's it, right? <laughs> Can I claim? Oh, talents? Oh, because I have a point. Okay. Hmm... Hmm. Core is really good. That's pretty good. Uh huh. Oh, that's. Yeah. Let's take that. Perfect Protego releases a damaging blast that breaks enemy shield, is so cool. We'll send two projectiles back. I, I'm pretty sure I can get that down. Is it in collections? No. No, it's in challenges. If I could... Is it... Where is the Merlin Trials again? Quest? No. Exploration? Yeah. Okay. Dude, I was not looking. I hope... I hope... I don't have anything else to do, right? I don't... <laughs> Dude. I, I'm pretty sure that's it. That's, that's what I did as well with... The other, so... We should be fine. I'm sorry. Can I break it? No. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Right. Can I have infinite like mongrel for fur? I can't speak. Or is it like gear system? I feel like I can have infinite, but ooh, what are those? Oh, nice. Hello. Skin. That's so cute. Okay, I think I'm going to go to my flying broom lesson. So let's see. I think. Oops. <laughs> Hogwarts map. Here. I can use this one. No, just just travel. <laughs> Just travel to it. 
Oh my goodness! Okay, wait, I need to put on my, my robes. I need to put on my flying robes. I'm play pretty sure I have some. Or do I? I thought I had a... Hmm. I really thought I had an ensemble. I think he sells it. Maybe. In Hogsmeade. Let me just go and see. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I need to fit. Okay. I need to fit for my flying class. Please. I need to go here. <laughs> because they're gonna be like, dude. <laughs> so useless. <laughs> Let's go. I'm sure you have something for me. Come in, look around, and if you've been eating chocolate frogs, please refrain from touching. Huh. Maybe not. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. I mean, this would work, kind of? Kind of? I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Oh, that looks cute with the Gryffindor. Oh, I like it. Oh, it is good too. Goddamn. Wait, that looks good. What the heck? You have new stuff, my boy. I'd say that looks as if it was made you for you. You definitely have new stuff. You didn't have all that before. Eh? Hey. Dude. Let me take this. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. And the, uh, is I'd it? say that yeah. looks as if it was made this? for you. And this. And uh, these are cool too. I'd say that looks as if it was made. You know for what? You. I want you won't everything. Be That's a glad rags promise. I want all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm so bad. I'm gonna use all my money for the fashion. So I can actually put something better like this. But change it to... Ooh! I mean... <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> hmm. I mean, this would work well, I think. And it, it looks quite good too. I think I'm gonna go with this. And then the cape, I can actually put on this one. It looks so good. But we're gonna, we're gonna use the, the Quidditch cape. Of course. We need to. Apart from that, I think these gloves are the same. Yeah, they just look better. They actually look so good, what the hell? But I think I should wear these. It's, I don't know, I, I feel like it's Quidditch. Oh, that's that's also Quidditch gloves. But I, I don't know, this just fits. This is like Quidditch assemble. Quidditch assemble. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I'm saying. And what is this? Huh? That looks so fucking epic. What the heck? I don't remember getting this at all. When did I get this? Legendary mass forge of metal to make you look like you've just escaped an asylum. That's so good. Quidditch goggles. There we go. We we need that. Right? Oh yeah. And then <laughs> No. No, we don't <laughs> No, no, no. Nothing. Oh my god, I look ridiculous with the goggles though. Okay, just this. We still need to look cool. We won't be the laughing stock at our first flying lesson, okay? We will be cool. 
calm down. <laughs> I should have sold. Shit, I forgot. I should have sold stuff. Yeah, losers. I look so much better than y'all. Hello. I'm ready to play Quidditch. I know there isn't in this game. Not me, bitch. <laughs> I know there's no Quidditch, but I want to Everybody fly. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Oh, I'm so excited. Up! <laughs> Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, Ooh, she's please Japanese. welcome a new student to our flying class. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Not a fan, I take it. Now, the Japanese. Let's see how well everyone kept she up has the goggles. over the summer holidays. For those and who the need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Fun fact up. that you guys probably already know. Oh, her Thank broom you. looks really cool. Now, Thank you. Your turn. Up, up. Up, you stupid ratty school broom! Fun fact, it's the only class where Harry is instantly better than Hermione. Because it has nothing to do with knowledge, it's instinct. So, and Harry is way better on instinct than Hermione. So as soon, in first year, as soon as they try, he's like, up, and then poop, he gets the broom and then Hermione can't. And she hates flying as well, so. Up. One you guys already knew that, so I'm sure. there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. It's a bit stupid that other... I should I should have classes, these classes, with first years. Like, why am I doing this with other fifth year? They already done this before. Like... <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Ooh! Good. Now... For your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Do take care. The brooms are school property. I want them returned in one piece. <gasps> this is brilliant. Nice balance. This'll take some getting used to. That's it. That's slow. I want to well go done. faster. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Uh-huh. This next set of rings <gasps> will take you well, there we go. the rounds for more of a challenge. What a view! Hello! Nice day for a flight! This is rather fun. Yeah! Okay, the feeling with the controller is amazing. It really feels like oh, wind in your house. hand. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. Revelio. Oh, I can do Revelio on my. Oh, that's cool. Okay, that's to stop. All right. Pretty cool. Can we Whoa. do like? Our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. <laughs> Giant squid. so fun I say I watched you fly through those rings you seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging oh, but I'm getting ahead yeah, of myself I am. we haven't properly met 
I'm Everett Clopton. Nice to meet Am you. Am I right in suspecting that a Gryffindor like you might be interested of in course. a flying adventure? Uh. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. The tour is about to begin. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. Lovely mm -hmm. as ever. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Okay, wait. Okay, interesting. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Okay, I can do with R2 or L3. Everett flying so quickly. <sighs> Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. L2. Oh. <gasps> now that's more like it. Oh, you shit! sure you're not part hippogriff? There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture. I want to go it? to the Owlery. And a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. I want to go. Oh, the Quidditch bitch. Gotta cry. Dude. Ah! We can That's hear the owl. Whistle. This oh, it's a whistle. This concludes our whistle. tour. Let's I thought it was an back. eagle or something. Hand in our brooms. Dismount here. Easy. Oh, uh, yeah. I have dismounted. Okay. Amazing. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for Whatever. Not following they don't my count instructions. It. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor, enough. Class is finished for the day. Boring. <laughs> As for you, you do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. I don't regret. That was some rather good flying. Thank you. I don't even have detention. <laughs> Who cares? Sorry it was about perfect. That business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, oh, yeah. those views were it was worth it. it. I have no it regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. Oh, yeah. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her I can a thing another? or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I'll have to purchase a broom then. <gasps> you can. You should. No, I just purchased a lot of clothes. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's oh always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. Uh, let's go now. If I could afford the new Bright Spark broom at Spint, which is, I'd be on it now. I do like Madame Kagawa. Greetings. She's been tutoring me after class. Although she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. I wish I could afford my own broom. Instead of using my brother's hand-me-downs. What's about our library venture? How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Oh, uh, yeah? Madam Kogawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Gryffindor should serve as a deterrent against How many? future escapades. <laughs> Who cares? Now, Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. 
please visit me at J Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. Oh my god, there's so many things I can do, dude. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor <laughs> as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies away from prying eyes and distractions. Uh huh. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to go buy a broom. I need to go to the owlery. Oh, I need to go buy a broom, first and foremost. <laughs> oh, uh, <clears throat> do I have enough uh, money though? Where is it? Follow the butterflies. That's new. That's the peepin thing. Here. Yeah. Oops. <laughs> the saddest part of all this, you know what it is, guys? When I love a game, that's when I know I love a game that much is when I keep telling myself I'm never gonna be able to relive this game for the first time and that makes me so incredibly sad <laughs> I know I'm not even done with the game but I'm already feeling like that like I'm never gonna have that feeling again of just uh... okay then it's not the right place Right. Oh, beast supply. That's just, that, that, that ain't it at all. Where am I supposed to go? Hosey Square, Anna Mana, Olive Enders, Tomes and Scrolls. Uh huh. Zonko, Three Broomstick. Ha! Ah! Ha! Ah! Here. I'm sorry. <laughs> Are those fishes? Oh yeah. Can I do it for you? Wait, wait, it worked though. I can't keep it. Ah! I want to put it in the in the bucket. Oh. I want to help. But I I think I can't keep it. Maybe I need to do Levioso and then Accio. Levioso. Okay, that didn't work. No, I just don't. I just can't. I can't keep it. I can't. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Hogsmeade, here I come. <laughs> We're already here. <laughs> what do you mean? No, I'm all wet. God damn. Let's go buy a good broom. I could sell though. I could sell stuff. Wait. Uh Hello there. Hello. Ready for a little change in fashion, are we? Plenty to no, choose from here, so but... take your time. I like this coat. Okay. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. Uh -huh. Be sure to stop by whenever you're about. <laughs> I think I do. <laughs> Damn, that's fast. I don't know if it's faster than just running. I'm not sure. Is this the place? Oh, it is. Wonderful. Oh. <gasps> 
witch's pointing needs, run by the amiable Alby Weeks. This shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Alby himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. I'm really curious what they're gonna call them in the game. The brooms. Because we know the Nimbus 2000, Nimbus 2001, and the Firebolt from the movies. I just wonder... Ooh, stylish top. Pavilion. I just wonder what they're gonna be called here because we're a hundred years before. You know? Okay, let's see. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Mm. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far no, as London because I to hadn't meet with my supplier. Flown and with I've a only just yet. returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a I'm new guessing. broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, silver. too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spint witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently, criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere. But you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. It's really problematic, eh? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them. Likely to do with a U wand's darker reputation. I have a U wand. Then you add the ember dash. I could have a U broom. Its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Oh, I have a look. The array of Show me your U. I'll have a look around. Thank you. You. Mm, mm, mm. What are we looking for today? Mm, 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 mm. Ember dash. Hogwarts house broom. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts house pride. Oh, that's cool. Fiery temperament. Finally crafted from ash, this broom is built for stability. Stylish broom with a light touch, quite literally. And you. A comfortable and speedy broom with a unique woven design. Ha <laughs> ha! That's perfect! Let me see a that preview. Item is of the highest quality. Oh, well. Of course I'm taking that. What about this one? Oh, this one looks cute, though, with the little lantern, and you can sit on it. There's a little seat. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, there's also a little lantern on this one, and, and, and little saddles. That item oh, that... is of the highest quality. Oh, oh that's quite cute. H hot damn. This one looks good, eh? That item is if the highest So actually, quality. this one is uh, kind of like the worst looking. Let's be honest. The fuck? Wait. I like the twisted thing, but the rest is like pretty ordinary. That item is if the highest quality. Well, I can. I guess I can sell it You'll again if I You'll be filled with that broom. I promise you. I want to see if it's really fast. By. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some oh, enhancements. Oh, yeah. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve mm -hmm. the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, okay. another Hogwarts student, Imelda yeah. Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? Mm, of course. Oh, 
I'm not interested in it. I should have chose. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Oxby and others are the areas prohibit flying. Look for a no flying icon near the mini map to. L okay. I, I see it. I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay. Um, I know I took like the worst looking. Oh. Okay, L1 and tap. Circle. <gasps> but if there's enhancement, maybe I can make it look different. This is amazing. <laughs> Love it. Can we do some cool things? Like, I want to do... I don't know. Oh, I guess I can't. <sighs> I'm going to speak to her and we'll see what I can do. Because I really want the enhancements. But I took the worst looking one though. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, that's the Akio thingy. Huh. Is that Natty? No, it's not. Wait! I can? Wait, how do I land again? I forgot. Huh. How do I land? Ah, okay. Uh, okay, hold. Mm, all right. Sorry about that. Is it the pre-wet dude? Oh hell yeah! Hell yeah! I'm gonna beat Challenging your ass. Challenging you to a game of Summoner's Court. No. <laughs> I think it's time you faced a real opponent outside of Roland's little lesson in charms class. Summoner's Court <laughs> isn't just a game. It's a battle of skill. A test of a witch or wizard's metal. What say? What say you? Oh I'm in. yeah. Let's do it. I'm really? in it, certainly. Now that I know how to IQ properly. The ever changing game. Akio. Okay. Oh you fell. Oh poor you, eh? My uh, uh. my wand slipped. A little bit early. Yeah. Lucky shot. Akio. Dude. What do you mean? Oh yeah, bump into me. All in the wrist. <sighs> Yeah, bitch. That Suck on that! <laughs> I'm such a... I'm such a sore loser. I don't even... How am I gonna... I need to bump his, maybe? And, like, enough to make it fall, but Nothing not mine? Serious. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was not good. Not bad. Sh should have done Not it more. Bad. Not well 80. Done. You beat me. We both have 80. No, okay. Yes. Bit of good luck. That's all. <laughs> that wasn't lucky. I'm not lucky. I'm simply better than you. All right, fine. You're right. You're better than me. Thank you. I'll let the others know you're good enough to keep playing. <laughs> the others? I lost seven matches in a row to Samantha Dale. <laughs> the others who play Summoner's Court thought that if you couldn't beat me, you wouldn't be enough of a challenge. Leander, there's no easy way to say this. 
Well, actually, there is. You're not cut out for it. Well, you could have found a harder way to say it. But perhaps you're right. I'll let the others know you're good enough for them. I'm sorry, I'm bullying him. But he's a bully, right? That's what I understood from the school. I'm sorry. That was funny, though. I didn't mean to bully, but like, I heard you were a bully, though. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Okay. Um, let's go see. Is that how you do? Yeah. Uh, where is she, though? Let me see. Quests. Oh, good lord. Flight test. Right? Here. Ah. <gasps> The Quidditch pitch down. The Quidditch court. I cannot believe. I cannot believe we cannot play. When will we have a DLC? I want to know. Hey, you, Gryffindor. Mm hmm. Imelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. Oh. The nerd. The nerd. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? <laughs> You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class Maybe because I'm better than you? You sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, bubbling bubbles. people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's Girl. the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Uh-huh. Let's see if you can beat it. Uh -huh. Slytherin versus Gryffindor. Yeah, fuck yeah. I'm gonna fuck you up. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fuck <laughs> here. Fine, I'll humor you. <laughs> Fuck this you! This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Mm, that's got cool. the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Mm-hmm. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. I'm being sassy today. I love it. Okay, what a uh, wait. Did it. And what are those? <laughs> wait, oh shit, I missed them. Ooh. Down, down, down more. Okay, that's good. Shit, I missed. This cannot be harder Maybe. than GTA 5, okay? I don't care. GTA 5 lessons uh, are way more difficult than this. All right. Brilliant. Oh yeah, baby. Shit! I thought I was having them. I think I don't need to hold the um, the left joystick in front, or do I? Oh, I think I don't. Ah, fuck me. Oh well. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Are you Excellent. kidding? Oh yeah. Easy. Easy! Huh! That was so easy. 
bitch. <laughs> Report back. Ugh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah. Fine. You won. <sighs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. <sighs> you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. <laughs> I don't want respect from the likes of you. All you do is insult people. You and everyone else need to get a thicker skin. Anyway, I'm moving on to the next course. It's near Irondale and offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Alby Weeks. Advance your way through the ranks of the leaderboard. I think I'd have made an excellent speaker. I have a sharp eye. Can spot the shadow of the demigods in the snow. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fed. I can do better. Mm -hmm. This is rather fun. Brilliant. So that's like the best, the one in front, I'm guessing. I think I didn't start like the right way or something. Brilliant. Damn. <laughs> that was close. That was close though. I feel like the start messed it up. I need to do it again. Because we did pretty good. This is How? Fun. Eh? What is going on? Okay, wait. How do I restart? Yeah, I am abandoning the race. It's okay. But lost. Huh. Well, I don't know. <clears throat> okay, that's better. Whoa! <laughs> Did it. How does she start so He's well, though? Days. Ruby. Eee, almost didn't catch it. Brilliant! Ah, success!
Oh, you're kidding. Why am I going so slow? Fuck me. Yeah, there's no way. Fuck, I missed. Dude. Ah. Oh, that was close, though. I would have. I think I would have made it. Close, but not close enough. No, 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 no. We can do better than that. We can definitely do better. Like how? So fast. Excellent. Shit. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> this is rather fun. Oh yeah. It is. Almost missed. I think there's no way. Even if I had caught it? I'm not sure. Maybe I have to enhance before. Like, if I go now to Hogsmeade and try to enhance it. Because, like, even with the one I missed, I'm not sure that I would have gotten it. <laughs> I'ma just be flying now all the time. More cozy than Hogsmeade. No, Hogsmeade is pretty amazing, I agree. Oh, you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. <laughs> Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. Mm. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Okay. Yeah, I'll wait for the upgrades, hmm. I think. How to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed. Ooh. <laughs> I thought maybe. Okay. Um, 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 um. We still have some time. Let me see. Wait, did I... I have new gear? Oh, that's cool. It looks exactly like a Kawedich. Perfect for competitive or sporting events. Yeah. Yeah, I like this one. It's pretty cool. Um, I should put back my robes, actually. Top of the class scarf. Oh, that looks nice, though. I like that. 
Oh. Yeah, brightest students. Damn. Okay. Damn. Do we have something better? Ooh. But nah. There we go. I'm gonna go to... Hogwarts. And then what did we have? We can learn Confringo. The Room of Requirement. Um, yeah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> I doubt Scrivener would stand for that. But if I said it was for an essay for the history of magic, how could she... I... I... I'm gonna scream, dude. <sighs> Professor Weasley? from prying yeah eyes. just think yeah go three times and think about it it's gonna open right there we're just in front of barnabas the barmy it's perfect yep door thank you <laughs> i knew it there was no other way forgive me the headmaster stopped me and i merlin's beard I see you've wasted no time. Well done. Shall we? Away from prying After eyes, that is the um the the type of room where all objects that are not needed or need to be hidden end up in. Usually when someone wishes for that, like the tiara of uh Rowena, but it's what it's not there yet. Place? This is the Room of Requirement. It only appears when one is in real need of it. Ordinarily, <sighs> a student might stumble upon this room entirely by accident. Yeah. If ever. I'd only planned to suggest to you how Revelio. to... Revelio. By walking past that bit of wall, focusing on what you need. But you've managed to reveal the room on your own. While I'm here, we should take advantage of the moment. Now, <laughs> where is Deke? <laughs> You must have sneaked past and gone ahead. That's the Duke, professor. How the self, house I think. elf I was speaking yeah. to in my classroom your first day. Thought he might help you use the room once you've found it. It is the same. Yeah. I'm just wondering if the bust. Is that how you call it in English? The bust of Rowena Ravenclaw is somewhere. Around here, maybe. Um, oh. This presents the perfect opportunity to teach you Evanesco, the vanishing spell. You can cast Evanesco to vanish certain objects, such as these chairs and other things here in the room. I suggest you practice the wand movements first, then you can clear the chairs away. Blended. Now, cast Evanesco on those chairs. Uh. Accio. I'm sorry. Excellent work. You'll note that you are now in possession of Moonstone. We uh -huh. shall discuss its uses later. Let's move on. I've been collecting them non-stop since I started, but I didn't know... Is that a new Where infant? In Merlin's name is that elf?
Is that... goodness? My old school bag. <laughs> I wondered where that had got to. I can't believe it's... <gasps> I'll just take a quick look at this. Give you an opportunity to explore on your own until we locate Deke. Yes, Professor. <laughs> That's one of the chess pieces! From the, the Philosopher's Stone. The Sorcerer's Stone, what, wherever you come from. That's one of the chess pieces from... Well, not McGonagall, obviously, because it's already here, but... Pretty sure they, they have like two swords like this. Hey, I waited for you here for ages. Perhaps you were assigned a few more inches of parchment than you'd expected. Let me know if you want to try to meet again. Sincerely, T. A and T. I need to remember that. I can't use my broom in here? Are you serious? Bevelio. you keep it down some of us are trying to rest was that the snape uh puppet like snape snape severus snape dumbledore snape severus snape dumbledore snape Ron. snape Ron. severus Ron. snape dumbledore. snape was that it <laughs> Can you do it again? Revelio. Oh, what the heck? Okay, there is way too many um, Easter egg eggs in here, I feel like. Okay, that's... That's just like in the Grand Hall. I'm sorry, I'm looking at everything. I can definitely go up there. I I'm sorry. Uh, just wait a second, though. I kind of want to. Oh, I mean, I can, I can go up there as well. Oh my god. Levioso. No way! Did I have a turban? I'm sorry, but I immediately thought of Professor Quirrell. It doesn't look like his though, but <laughs> it's too good. Ooh! I'm supposed to be able to go this way. I'm um, sorry. Hope this isn't as precarious as it looks. Is that a painting? Seeing that? That's not helpful, you worthless pile of tin. Oh no! Repair it. I can't repair it. What are those? I'm sorry, I'm going really slowly because, like, I'm afraid I'll miss something. Oh, that's that's for the Gryffindor, um, for calculating the house points. There's a lot of repeated stuff like, like this, but that, I mean, it's okay. It's a really big... That's beautiful. Yeah. 
Leviosa. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. <sighs> How does anyone other than a house elf manage to get around in here? A harp? Is that for Fluffy? I feel like there's there's a lot of Easter eggs, for sure. There's a lot of Easter eggs. It feels like that. What was that? <gasps> it's a snitch. It's a golden snitch. Is that a golden snitch? Yeah. Perhaps you should summon your wits and find out. <laughs> Bavelio. I can't go on the other side. Yeah, I should. Revelia. Interesting. Levioso. Can't really do much about that. Can I go over? No. Maybe over here though. I think I could. Fuck. And now I Levio sold it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have. Bavelio. There's another one there. Ah, okay. After some time it, it stops, so maybe I could um It'll fall soon, I think. Yeah, there we go. Come here. Oh, come on. Yeah, okay. Jesus Christ. Okay. What if? What? Are you serious? Okay, what if I do... There's no way. That, that ain't the way. Ah, I don't know what to do. I'm sure it's super simple, but I can't seem to... Maybe I... Maybe I'm coming back the other way? No, I'm not. There's a chest there, too. There's a chest there. Dude. Can I just take it like this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe if I put it under it. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, kind of. Uh, it kind of didn't work, though. Like, on top of each other, and then maybe I can... I can access. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. If that doesn't work, I don't know what to do. I think I'm not close enough. Oh, it's gonna work for sure. Okay, wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I need to be closer. Oh, come on. Can I push it? I, I can. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck me, dude. It was totally working. Oh, dude. I'm so mad right now. Okay, wait. Let's try again. Fuck me. It was totally working. I saw the search. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Let me Oops. No, 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 no. Yeah. <sighs> we got it. <laughs> it's a relaxed jumper school uniform. Are you kidding? I already have that, I think. I am so sorry for that, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> that was pointless. <laughs> I hope that house elf can find us in here. <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's nice. I, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted Lumos. to do this. <gasps> there he is! Hello, Deke. Yikes! Careful! Yikes! Oh, there you are. Wait right there. Deke will come to you. Hello. Ah, oh, Deke. We've been looking for you. Uh, apologies, Professor Weasley. Deke was looking through some of what's appeared in the room since Deke was last here. Is this the student? Indeed it is. Deke is honored to meet you. Deke has been a friend since I was a second year. We discovered this room together. Oh. I mentioned you to Deke. We believe that you might be able to benefit from this room. Like oh my I god. Deke, would you be so kind? Of course, Professor Weasley. The room of requirement will always be equipped for the seeker's needs. Mm -hmm. It's unplotable, so won't appear on any map. Mm -hmm. Most happen upon it by accident, if ever. If ever. Deke's seen students in need of an extra file for potions stumble upon the room filled with them. You seem to have accessed it in its form as the room of hidden things. Yeah. I was thinking about needing a place away from prying eyes. But... Brilliant. Oh, that explains it then. What I need specifically is a place where I can catch up on my schoolwork without distraction. Well then, the room can provide you with precisely that. Now, it's time to focus on what you need. Just close your eyes. Imagine the room precisely as you need it. The room will do the rest. Yep. The only thing is you're not supposed to be able to enter if there's already someone in there. But I guess Deke, because he's a house elf, it doesn't count. Maybe he arrived after, I don't know. Yeah, there we go. You've 
given yourself quite a campus. Oh. I look forward to seeing what you do with the space. Ah, is it the same? It seems the room has provided you with a desk of description. Excellent. It can identify unfamiliar items of clothing. One should always understand the effects of anything in which one is clothed. You have unlocked the desk of description. Use it to reveal the magical properties of any identified gear that you've collected. I have one. This will be uh, more no? Useful. You'll find plenty of items of clothing that need to be identified. The desk will be an invaluable one, I resource. I thought I had one. Okay, I guess not. Rebellion. <gasps> Flu? I imagine the desk of description will come in handy. It will. I hope you'll take advantage of it. I thought I had a cloak. Now, I'll give you a brief lesson in conjuring. The room might not provide everything you need on its own. Conjuring? Yes. The magic of creating or conjuring objects. The I'll best part you. of transfiguration, honestly. Well, I guess it's not really transfiguration. I would have to research if it really... But I'm pretty sure it's shown in the transfiguration class. Very good. When conjuring more complex objects, you'll need what's called a spellcraft. Oh my god. Spellcrafts are like recipes. They list the ingredients or resources needed to conjure a particular object. Yeah. You should have acquired some for a potion station and potting table from yeah. tomes and scrolls in Hogsmeade. I did. Where can I find the resources I need? While resources such as Moonstone can be obtained throughout the Highlands, it's much safer and easier to purchase them. Nah. They can also be collected by vanishing objects in the room, such as the chairs you vanished earlier. In fact, you should have enough resources for now. I see. Can I regain resources by vanishing something I've already conjured? You can indeed. Hmm. Quite perceptive. Why don't you give it a try? Go ahead and conjure the potion station and potting table. Oh, you should amazing. find both familiar since I need to go back to my potting table in the herbology class actually. And brew I have something and growing there. <laughs> Assign a new spell. Um sure. Oh. I can change things. Okay. Um, so, for example, here? And that's... What is this? Oh, that's uh, for the potting. For sure. Potting table. Okay. Potions, herbology. Utility, wall hanging, artwork, decorations, furniture, rugs, seating, tables, statues, seasonal decorations. Okay, this is The Sims. I am fucking here for it. What do you mean? Scientific potting table with a small pot. Botanical potting table with a small pot. Growing plants. Okay, it's just that it looks different. Eclectic potting table with a small pot. Or gothic. Ooh. I can't put it here. Change color. Oh God. Oh my. Oh god. Okay, let me see the others. 
Let me see the eclectic. Okay. <laughs> Botanical. Oh! Oh, I can change down here. Ah! I hadn't noticed. Okay, what if I... Hmm. This is gonna take me forever. I think this one is probably the best. In black? Okay. Medium, large, composter. Oh, good lord. Oh, I'm sorry. Potions. Hopping, potion station, small, botanical, eclectic, gothic. Yeah, we're gonna go with the same theme. Oh, it looks amazing. Oh, this one looks good too. Okay. I don't know. This one is smaller a little. So I could like... Put it here. Yeah. Well done. You can use these whenever you need to brew potions or grow plants. Presuming, of course, you've collected any seeds or potion ingredients you okay. need in Hogsmeade or outside the castle grounds. Quidditch board? Okay. Oh my god, I'm sure a lot of people... Oh. Will make such beautiful... Um... A really, be probably really beautiful um, room of requirements. I am sure. Okay. Decorations. <gasps> oh my goodness! Oh, I could have changed the color, though. Well, it's fine. I'm just having fun right now. Wait. Three beast star. I cannot handle this. I don't have any seating. Wait. Ah! 
wizard chess. Quidditch pitch table. <sighs> oh, good lord. That's uh, quite enormous. <sighs> okay. Statues. A unicorn? Excuse me. Why not? <laughs> you know, why not? There's a chair there. to answer any questions you may have. Oh boy. Do not underestimate his insights. Can you tell me a bit more about Deke? He's been at Hogwarts longer than I have and seems to know it's every nook, cranny and secret. Nice. We discovered this room together when I was a student. Deke has had a good deal of experience both here at Hogwarts and at a previous post. I shall let Deke tell what you was more when he's ready, spells, though, I but know. again, you would be wise to listen to any suggestions he may have. Of course. Can I use this type of transfiguration magic outside of the room? Conjuring and vanishing are strictly forbidden elsewhere in the castle. We've charms in place to enforce that. Oh, really? It would be exhausting to reverse the errors in both judgment and magic. I did not but know that. the room of requirement has its own rules. Yep. I will be it sure does. to speak with Deke if I need anything. Thank you. Good luck. I shall linger a bit longer in case you'd like to learn another transfiguration spell for use in the room. I'm oh. ready for the next lesson, Professor. I didn't mean to Very do that. Well. First, you'll need to gather some moonstone. You can acquire it by vanishing items here in the room of requirement, or you can gather it carefully outside of the Hogwarts grounds. I even have an owl. Return to me once you've gathered enough, and we shall begin the lesson. Collection updated. I did not mean to do that. Sh shit. That was not my intention. <sighs> shit. Okay. <gasps> yeah, let's make some. And let's plant. Some um, mousy. Nothing to identify for now, at least. Deek. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting used to everything. I have rags. You have the moonstone? You can acquire some by vanishing items here in the room, or you can gather it outside the Hogwarts grounds. I thought 
Aha. Uh -huh. It's not centered. How sad. Can't center it. Damn, it's big. Do you have the moonstone? You can acquire some by Shut up! Or you can gather it out of the Oh my goodness. Oh, good lord. <laughs> Putting it everywhere. What else did you add? Mirrors. Ooh. House elves and mistress. Nurse and baby. Bickering couple. Oh yeah. <laughs> New tables. And finally, chairs. That is what I needed. Enough for now. Looking nice though. More. You have the moonstone. You can acquire some by vanishing items here in the room, or you can gather it. I have the moonstone you requested, Professor. <laughs> Good. Shut up. Then we may begin your lesson. You can conjure more than potions and herbology tables. Conjuration can be used to decorate this space to yeah, your liking. I've, I've already Why don't done. you try it on the walls and floor? I've already done it. Conjure wall decorations, one out of five. Okay. Um, these or these? Oh, that's small. I thought it was bigger than that. <laughs> and... Apart from that... Dapper wizard. Of course. Oh yeah. Looking nice. Gazing witch. It's hard to really put them in the middle. Good work. Shall we move on? Of course. Oh, I don't have a lot of moonstones left. But I can vanish a couple of things too. Like, there are way too many mirrors in here. There we go. That's better. And way too many portraits. But I kind of like them. That's the thing. Oh, it's the same one here. We can take that off. Better. 
Okay. <laughs> I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. Alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. What? You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Oh God. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Oh goodness gracious. I'm gonna spend forever in the room of requirement, guys. I'm I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay. Lumos. What the fuck? Uh, okay. Wait, this one actually looks nice. Adjust the size. Oh. Oh! Wait, that's cool though. Nicely done. Now you're Wait, that's kind of cool though. What if fast. can I You can use your spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. Can't really put put it near a wall anymore though. That's the only thing. Eee! That's so cute. Wait. Aiming what? Wait for real? Are you serious? I like the botanical, I think. Let me see the gothic one. Oh my god.
I didn't mean to do that. Let me just see this one, how it looks overall. I think I prefer the botanical. It just, I'm sorry, but it looks just, too, it's too good. It's so beautiful. I cannot deal right now. I know you can, you can probably mix things up and it doesn't look like too weird. You can change color. Are you kidding? I didn't see that before. What? Uh, no, no. I'm sorry. Maybe just a dash of color here. You know? Could work, I guess. Or nah. Let's see, let's uh, do it all with black. That doesn't change much. I can change that. Okay, it's the ceiling. No, I'm good with black. Oh, good lord. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Black like my soul, dude.
We don't need this one. And what is... What is this? Ha. That, that ain't the right color though. Ah, there we go. My goodness, but how will I ever do anything else in the game? I need to put some accented colors. I know, I know, I can't just put black everywhere. You know what? I think I actually prefer the botanical. Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. What? Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come and talk to Deke when you're ready. Yeah, wait. I'm not ready. No, actually, you know what? This is better. Holy mother. Or the first one, but this color. Is that weird? I feel like this doesn't fit that well. Yeah, might be better this way. With the accented red, maybe? Eh? I don't know. Beautiful. I can literally customize everything. Can I make this bigger? No, I can't. Okay, thank god. <laughs> Another. I need more Ditani leaves. Yes, Deke. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambiance. Of course. Uh what sort of overall look most appeals Gothic. to you? Cool moonlit ambience sounds perfect. I'd like something natural and early. I focus best in a room that is dark and mysterious. Uh, um, 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 can I change if I don't like it though? Can I change my mind if I don't like it though? That's the real question. Because I'm hesitating between the three of them. Moonlit. Let's try dark and mysterious. I'd like the room to feel mysterious and eerie. As if I'm in the forbidden <gasps> forest. Yeah. Surrounded by shadows. Hmm, oh, sounds perfect. Ooh! Uh, ooh! Uh. I don't hate it. Mm. Quite a difference. Of course, you needn't keep this style if you don't like okay. it. Okay. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now you have learned a good bit about alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Indeed. Yeah. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. 
What is going on? Is that another space I can totally customize? Yes. Uh, of course it is. That's an entire motherfucking house that I got. An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Deke, can we try? I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Uh, I of want course. to see the cool uh, what moonlit. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? I would like the room to feel as if it's being lit by the moon. Oh, sounds perfect. <gasps> yeah. 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 Yeah, that's the best. I'm sorry, but goddamn. It looks fantastic. What can I put on there? Um, and I can totally do something different around here, you know, if I want to. I can do something a bit more botanical, maybe. You know, wait, can I change the color? We could keep the same colors, but... Oh. Can I change this? Yes, I can. I think this one is the best, actually. But black. The best, but make it black. that it makes it so intense though yes. uh, no really this one is is the best This one too. Yeah, more of a botanic feel around here. I cannot deal. I cannot deal right now. What do you mean? This is ridiculous. I will spend forever. And it's no fun for you guys. Like, none at all. There is absolutely no fun to be had here. Apart from myself. You know what I mean? I want to see the earthy. Earth, earthy. I'd like I'm to guessing ask it, you about it was the one I had. Ambience. Of course. Uh. What sort of overall look most appeals to you? Oh, it was warm and cozy, probably. 
I'd like the room to feel natural oh and earthy, I missed as step. though I'm outdoors. Oh, sounds perfect. Yeah, that's pretty basic, though. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's really cool. But it's a bit basic. It's the botanical corridor. You know? To lead to the botanical room. Uh, I'm not sure I like the, the floor, but whatever. Yeah, I think I preferred... Hmm... I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambiance. I think the cool moonlit, huh? the what dark and mysterious was too dark. I think. To you? Let's let's do it again, but you I think it was like too dark. To feel yeah, shut up. <laughs> it's kind of cool though. Not gonna lie. As if you're in the Forbidden Forest, dude. Yeah, I think Moonlit was the best for the type of vibe I'd I'm like going to ask for. You about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Eh. Eh. I would like. Uh, he's gonna be like, dude, make your fucking choice. Yeah, it's like the colors really pop out with it. With the Forbidden Forest one, it's a little bit like washed out. But with this version, you really see the reds and stuff like that. So I think it it's more warm. It's a lot warmer, so that could be good. Um. Hmm. Fertilizer. Oh yeah, let's try. A dawn composter. I don't think I have that. Oh my goodness. Uh-huh. Gold Herbology Trophy. Huh. It's ready. I don't know, it's kind of cute. <laughs> okay, you can only plant one thing at a time, is what I'm getting at. Empty pot, okay. And now I can put this in here. All right. Astronomy tower. Okay, I'm just getting out of my room, right? Oh my god. Does it disappear when I go away? The lore accuracy though. I cannot. I cannot handle this game. I, I, I can't. I can't. I cannot handle this game. <laughs> I really can't. Um, okay. Uh, Thank God I haven't streamed yet. I'm streaming this game tomorrow. By the time I have uploaded this, it will be long past. But 
basically what I mean is that next episode is going to be a VOD from a YouTube stream. Uh, it's the, the stream where I celebrate 10,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, by the way, guys, for 10,000 subscribers. That is absolutely insane to me. I did not think we would reach 10,000 so fast. It's crazy, and I'm super grateful. And yeah, I'm celebrating that tomorrow by streaming this game. And I'm so happy now that we discovered the room requirement and we can fly and we have a lot of side quests because I didn't want to do too many main quest things tomorrow because a VOD is not the same to watch, right? It's, it's gonna be like four or five hours long probably and it's not as interesting for you guys to watch the whole thing when it's like main quests and stuff like that. So it's probably going to be only side quests and room of requirement uh, style, sty stylization, styling, customizing, okay? Uh, I'm really happy that I found it now and so I can just spend a lot of time tomorrow having fun there. Um, <laughs> I can't explain how this game... I was expecting when I, when I first knew that Hogwarts Legacy was a thing a couple of years back. I was really happy just for the open world aspect of it. I was like, okay, that's very cool. I hope that we can just stroll around Hogwarts. That was all I wanted. This game more than delivers. It's absolutely the best thing I've played in so long. And I'm not trying to compare it to things like other games like God of War Ragnarok or things like that. They are completely different. I do not mean to compare. I cried so many times in God of War Ragnarok in my playthrough. The emotional attachment, the character arcs, stuff like that. It's, it's something else. What I mean is the amazement, the happiness that I feel, the nostalgia as well, the satisfaction towards lore, the amount of detail that they that went into this game you can definitely feel that the people who made this game who made it possible are fans are true fucking harry potter nerds <laughs> like myself or even more than me you know and they made this game accurate to the lore and then some they made the gameplay absolutely fun and amazing they added customization, which is not that needed in this game. I mean, it's fun, but it's it's just a step above for fan service. It they just keep on giving, and I cannot handle. Like it is too good for me. It is just. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. Like okay, now it's done. I've seen everything, and then it's it's boring. I don't think it will happen. It's impossible. I have still so much to do and to discover in this world. I've barely scratched the surface. I now have the room of requirement that I can customize just like in The Sims, which is just super fun. And I know a lot of people might not be interested in that, but for me, it's just so much fun because it's lore accurate as well. That's what is cool about it. They didn't just put it and then didn't make it make sense with the lore. No, they thought, oh, what if we added rumor requirement as a customization because it would fit, right? And they made it true to the material and I just... Every episode I'm blown away. There is not one episode so far that I was like, nah. no, no, this game is fucking amazing. There is no other way to put it. I absolutely love it. It's fun to play. But most importantly, my little nerd heart is like singing praise right now. You know? <laughs> it's so good. It's... I can't explain. If you're not really well versed in Harry Potter, I think you can still enjoy this game so much. But maybe you don't really grasp what I mean here. But think about your favorite thing ever, your favorite book ever, and then having a game that is exactly like the book or the movie or whatever. It's that. It is that. And then having to play it is such a privilege. So big kudos to everybody that worked on this game. Everybody. 
from the first to the last person. I'm sure a lot of people worked on it. Big kudos to them, because really, I think it's amazing. And I haven't even scratched the surface yet. I feel like I'm not at the end. Usually I do a speech like this when I finish a game. I'm like in cosplay or something, right? Or a special makeup or something. It's like the last episode that I film or something like that. I'm not even at like half the game, I'm sure. And I'm already like, thank you. Thank you. I can't express how grateful I am right now. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.